water is a wonder liquid what a fantastic explanation of water why is it a wonder liquid because we cannot survive without water it does so many things not only it is a universal solvent what happens because of that you see in the living body so many chemical and physical changes are taking place and no chemical reaction can take place unless the substances are in solution form so all the activities that are going on inside us which help to maintain a life are only possible by water so metabolic activities in solution form then a large part of a living body is nothing but water major part of bo living body so much so that an animal like jellyfish is largely only water even many plants or fruits especially like watermelon are nothing but water largely about 95% it is also a habitat so many plants and animals live in water so living body also living beings get a home another thing transportation of material most of the substances are transported inside the living body with the help of water only it is in the solution form so now you understand why water is a wonder liquid and why living beings are so much dependent upon water what happens if you get cholera or food poisoning you lose water in the form of loose motions and vomiting and what is the immediate result dehydration dehydration means loss of water and you know in the case of small children it can be fatal so immediately what we do we give ors oral rehydration which means water in which sugar and salt has been dissolved you can get it ready made but you can also make it at home because maintenance of water in our body is very important now most of the water available on earth is saline because it is found in the sea water many organisms live in marine water that is the sea water but many cannot because they cannot utilize the saline water so they can't cope there the fishes that are found in fresh water cannot live in marine water so what are the sources of fresh water the sources of fresh water are ice caps of two poles then snow on mountains and the ground water and of course the rain you know water is a renewable resource we keep on using water and water keeps coming back to us am i contradicting in a way yes today it is no longer renewable because our consumption due to modern living and wastage is much more than it can be replenished it's something like amdani athanni kharcha rupaya we don't have that much of water another thing trees bring rain we are cutting trees there is water underground we are pu putting booster pumps and sucking water we are pu putting tube wells and sucking water so what is happening is that water is becoming a scarce commodity unless we become careful and judicious in our use and use sustainable practices very soon there will be no water and then you know what it can mean 